I did not always want to be a teacher. I wanted to work in a museum and be a curator or work on artworks, you know, restore artworks in a museum. And I had gone to school and took all the art classes I could, all the art history classes I could, and I was really losing steam. And my mentor, who was the chair of the department, said, I think you're burnt out, and I think you need to try something different. And she saw that I had some experience with kids, and I, had, I grew up with lots of siblings. Um, so she said, why don't you see if teaching, what do you think about teaching? And so I went into the teaching program and I just clicked with it. And I knew that's where I was supposed to be. In my school and in, um, especially in, in my advisement, I think I'm a culture builder. I've tried to be a cheerleader for my, my students and my colleagues. I love the teachers at Spring Garden. They're, there's nobody, I don't feel like there's anyone at Spring Garden that wouldn't help me if I needed it. And so I think with the help of the other teachers, you know, who have been great models of the culture building in different ways. I have tried to bring us together as a staff and then also use that in my classroom and, and make little families throughout the day in different classes, in my advisement, in my eighth grade classes, seventh grade classes, just to um, build that trust and bring everybody together. Probably three or four years into teaching, I was having a conversation with one of my classes and um, someone had just won the lottery. And so we were talking about what you would do if you won the lottery. And I'm just kind of listening to the different groups talk about what they would do, you know. Some were gonna buy Lamborghinis. I don't even know that they knew what Lamborghinis were. And they were gonna buy boats. And then I remember there was one student, a boy, he spoke up and he said, if I won the lottery, I would buy a house and it would have 10 locks on the door and I would have two huge refrigerators and they would be filled with food and he was just so excited talking about his dreams. All that student wanted was security and to make sure he was fed and everybody else was talking about trips and material things. So that, that was the biggest aha moment for me as a teacher. I think it changed the way I saw kids after that. Sometimes meeting kids where they are means neglecting the rest of the class. Sometimes taking care of a few kids who are having some trouble means that we don't learn about art that day. And I'm, I mean, I've been blessed with really good administrators that if they ever walked in and saw us having conversations and me sitting on a table, you know, wouldn't have taken me to task about it. Um, but it's hard to meet the needs of 30 kids. Sometimes it's more important to listen to them and figure out what's going on in their lives and see, be a support that way than it is to teach. So finding that balance is a struggle sometimes. The funniest moment I've had in recent memory I had a class that was mostly boys, like 14 or 15 boys, and just a couple of girls, and they were very rambunctious. And they were just hateful to each other with the back talk, you know, try slamming each other all the time. And I couldn't get them to stop talking, ever, to each other. It took a couple of weeks, but I would walk by, and as I would walk by them, I would start leaning down, and I would just say, you know, you're my favorite, right? To each of these boys as I walked by, and eventually, I would say, well, you guys, you know you're my favorite class, so don't, you cannot tell anybody. Like, those other classes would be so mad. And eventually, they just became the best class. They, I manifested this wonderful class of almost all boys that were just so mean and hateful to each other and ended up being sweet and kind and had this whole family in just a quarter and it would, it's, I don't, I guess maybe it's not funny, but it's wonderful. It's a wonderful moment. And they, I just brainwashed some kids and that's the whole story. <laughs>